Welcome along to this week's uh, edition of the WeatherQuest Farming Forecast for the 8th of June. We're going to start the video this week by talking about soil moisture. So a few weeks back Zoe showed a map of some so soil moisture and I just want to cast your memory back to the month of April where it was a very dry month and very chilly as well. Uh, by the end of the month, by the 1st of May, uh, you can see the red dots on the map here indicating some dry and in some cases with the dark red dots here indicating exceptionally dry conditions in the soil uh, on the 1st of May. But it's interesting how quickly that can turn around. So we all know that May was in general a wet month for many of us. and. By the end of the month of May, we started to see quite a few uh, places that were back to normal. These yellow dots on the map here, and then these lighter shadings of blue here, uh, showing up uh, soil moisture a little bit wetter than average. So it only took a few weeks really of that increased rainfall to kind of flip us around. Probably happened at a good time as well during the beginning of growing season to help things come along a bit. So uh, probably some well-timed uh, rain there. And uh, I suspect these are already going back the other direction now, because as we all know, the last week or so has been drier than average. We'll talk about how much longer that's going to last uh, over the next few slides. But at the moment, the jet stream quite active across the Atlantic. But when I put this into motion and show you what happens to it through the rest of the week, you can see the very active parts of the jet stream, the energy from the jet stream going to stay to the north and west of the British Isles for the most part. So any weather systems will be steered to the north and west of Scotland and eventually up into Scandinavia. That's going to allow some higher pressure to continue to form and exist across southern parts of Britain uh, over the next few days at least and into the weekend, uh, continuing to bring us this dry and warm weather that we've had uh, just recently. So for tonight and into tomorrow, this high pressure across southern parts of Britain going to continue to bring dry conditions. You'll see a few bits of blue on the map there during Wednesday, a few isolated showers possible as the land heats up through the course of the day. But in general, this is the pattern we're going to be in and it's going to stay with us really for a few more days with high pressure to the south and generally dominating the weather pattern across central and southern parts of Britain and these areas of low pressure tracking across the North Atlantic, occasionally bringing some frontal rain to northern parts of Ireland uh, and into Scotland. So as we go through the rest of the week, you'll see this high pressure here and uh, those blue blobs occasionally popping up over the land, indicating the risk of some of those isolated showers that are generated by the heating of the day. But overall, uh, the pressure pattern is still showing us uh, in high pressure, quite a bit of sunshine expected, some warm conditions too, uh, and any rain really held across north and western parts. So that's really the big story, I think, between now and the weekend. Uh, is the fact that we're going to be dominated by high pressure. We're going to have plenty of sunshine and with that high pressure over us, it will bring some lighter winds. So this chart here showing our ideal spraying conditions. I'll put this into motion and you'll see that this green sticks around for the most part. There's a few exceptions worth noting though. Uh, as we go through some of the days there, you can see that that green shading kind of uh, fades back and then pops back up. And the reason for that is two, uh, two reasons actually. One, uh, it has to do with the fact that there will be some isolated showers that form over the land during the afternoons um, with the heating of the day and also with the heating of the day the sun mixing up that air near the ground surface and that causes a little bit of gustiness so in general the best times for spraying under this high pressure over the next few days will certainly be I think uh, during the mornings and during the very late afternoons and evenings when the land is starting to cool off a little bit as well in fact I'll show it uh, in just a second, but we may even see some temperatures into the upper 20s to near 30 degrees Celsius uh, by the weekend. Now, WQ Radar is a, one of our platforms that allows you to keep up with things like the wind speed. So you can overlay the official Met Office uh, weather station wind speeds on it. And so if you're out on the sprayer, the breeze is picking up in the morning and you're wondering if it's going above uh, limits, you can have a check on that, zoom right in and see the nearest Met Office weather stations around your area to kind of let you know whether or not you can continue spraying or whether you need to put a pause on it until late afternoon, early evening. And you can get a discount on WQ Radar if you use the discount code SUMMER. So feel free to get in touch with us about that. Now, as I mentioned, this high pressure over us through the weekend. And in fact, it'll hang around even into the early part of next week. So this is the forecast chart for next Monday, actually, showing that high pressure still broadly across southern parts of Britain. 
But by the time we get to the end of next week, we will see a change in the weather pattern, it looks like. We're gonna see a more unsettled period of weather, some areas of low pressure initially tracking in from the west and then eventually the northwest as we go towards the end of next week and into the following weekend. So at some point, uh, in about a week and a half time, we're going to start to see that weather turning a little bit more unsettled and, and more changeable. So this is uh, an image that we've shown a few times over the last uh, few weeks where uh, we've got the different regions across uh, the British Isles uh, on the left hand side here. So we're starting off in eastern England, southeast England down at the bottom and then moving upwards uh, into Scotland as we go towards the top of the map here. And you can see some of the, the place names associated here. But the dark brown on the image here is a very high likelihood of dry days, completely dry days. Uh, and the dark green shading here is a very low likelihood, so most likely to be wet. So this is a probability forecast uh, for dry days. And you can see that certainly with that high pressure across southern parts of Britain, uh, some good um, confidence that we'll stay dry for the most part through about the middle of next week. Now, the only caveat there is particularly for southern and central parts of, uh, of England. There could be a few isolated afternoon showers, but on the whole, uh, largely dry conditions. But you'll see that switching point uh, around Wednesday to Thursday of, um, uh, of, the, of next week, so the 16th, 17th of June, there starts to be a much less likelihood of staying dry and only a medium chance of dry days by that point. And you can also see the general unsettled nature of things as those weather systems continue to track across the northwestern parts of Britain as well. So we've got this chunk here of dry conditions that should be good for spraying. Then we go into something a little bit more unsettled and then creep back into something maybe a little bit more settled towards the end of the month. The other thing I mentioned earlier as well was that potential for those temperatures to continue to climb over the next few days, perhaps reaching near 30 degrees Celsius by the end of the week and into the weekend. And so uh, you can see that highlighted quite well here, eastern and central parts of England, a uh, very high likelihood of being above average temperature wise. Uh, and then you can see that sort of period by the time we get to the middle of the month where we see that more unsettled nature to things uh, where the temperatures look like they'll drop off just a little bit. Um, uh, after about the 17th of June. Now, between now and about the 17th of June, we're looking at that high pressure, bringing sunshine, bringing warm conditions and dry conditions. And so this is a precipitation minus evaporation ma um, chart here for Ely and Cambridgeshire. Uh, and the highlighting point here is that between now and about the 17th, we're expecting the ground to lose about 35 millimeters of water off of it. So uh, if you'd like to keep your land where it is at the moment and you have the ability to do some irrigation, uh, it looks like over the next 10 days, you'd need to apply something on the order of about 35 to 40 millimeters of rain uh, or, or water to keep the, the fields where they are at the moment. So a drying out period certainly on the way. Towards the end of the period, you can see a few of those ensemble members popping back up. That's where we'll start to get into that a uh, bit more of an unsettled flavor to the weather. So I suspect this will climb back up closer to zero again in the following week. So it's not all bad news, certainly for the next 10 days, very dry, and you're gonna lose uh, an inch and a half of water out of the ground, but then a bit of a recovery as we go towards the middle of the month. Now, we still have a little bit of uncertainty, obviously, as to how much rain will fall during that uh, more unsettled period of weather and where that'll track and what day it'll start. So uh, feel free to give us a ring on our uh, forecast hotline, the telephone number below here. We're answering that line uh, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day of the year. So you can ring a forecaster, you can get the latest information about uh, how much longer the dry weather is gonna last and when that more unsettled period of weather is set to start. So just looking at the next few weeks then, um, as we mentioned, that sort of changeover to a more unsettled period of weather is probably gonna happen around the middle of next week. So this is the pressure anomaly. And you can see, broadly speaking, still slightly higher than average pressure, but that's probably gonna be dominated by some higher pressure at first, mixed in with some lower pressure at the end of the week. So uh, a little bit above average in terms of pressure uh, for that second uh, week of our forecast here, the 14th to the 20th of June. And uh, as far as the rainfall anomaly goes, really pretty near average rainfall conditions expected during that period. But again, I suspect it'll be dominated by dry days uh, from the 14th to about the 17th or 18th, and then some wetter days uh, from about the 17th or 18th to the 20th. So it'll probably be a week that's sort of split between settled dry at first and then more unsettled 
uh, towards the end of the period and still warmer than average though, particularly through that first part of the week where we'll see temperatures uh, into the mid 20s quite widely. You can see some quite hot weather down across the continent as well, some days well above 30 degrees Celsius uh, across France during that period as well. We start to look at the uh, pressure anomaly by week three. So this is the 21st to the 27th of June and there's not much to point out here by this stage. Some higher than average pressure off to our west uh, lower pressure over Iceland and in general a bit more of a northwesterly feed to the air during that time period. Uh, that will lead to temperatures probably near average for the British Isles, slightly below average even across north and western areas with that northwesterly drift uh, to the air there. Uh, but you can see generally we're losing that uh, warmer uh, signal of the weather uh, into week three and probably back to some drier than average conditions as well for many of us with that high pressure still sort of blocking things to the south and west. I think most of the weather systems will sort of continue to keep up across north and western parts of Britain so largely near or slightly below average uh, in terms of rainfall and then as we turn the month from June into July uh, at the moment, the forecast is suggesting some warmer than average conditions returning. Remember the table that I showed earlier did show that sort of return to something a bit more settled looking again by the time we get into week four. Uh, and you can see that reflected in general, many places near or below average uh, in terms of rainfall as well. So to put all that into a summary point, uh, some high pressure at first bringing largely dry and warm conditions and those temperatures climbing up to near 30 degrees Celsius in places by the end of the week. Still looking out though for potentially a few isolated sharp showers over the warmer land during the afternoons. Uh, and then that signal for a little bit cooler, more unsettled weather to come through from around the 17th or 18th of June to the 23rd of June, so about a week period in there looking like it will be a bit more changeable with lows coming in off the Atlantic. Uh, and then uh, that signal for things turning just a touch more settled and drier again towards the end of the month and into the first part of July. Thanks for watching this week's video and uh, feel free to get in touch with us on our Facebook or uh, Twitter or send us an email at info at weatherquest.co.uk if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.